ourselves a piece of charcoal. Charcoal over my hands already. <laughs> and we'll sketch in our mailbox. Now we want the mailbox itself to be lower center so that when we put our little bluebirds on, they'll be more the focal point of the painting. So we're going to start the bottom of our mailbox down here. And it's going to tilt a little bit this way. We can bring our post up. Right in there. So the mailbox isn't real hard. It's kind of kind of looks like a loaf of bread almost. Just curves, comes straight down this way, and then curves that way. Actually, bring it out a little bit farther. Forward here. Now, the nice thing about the charcoal is you can sketch and you can make adjustments and, and you can wipe it off if it's not how you like it. I need it to come a little bit farther forward here. opening of the mailbox. I'm going to come just like that. So this is going to be the opening right here. And we've got to put the lids flopped open on this. So we've got to bring the lid have it coming down this way. And there's your lid. And most mailboxes like a little tab that snaps together to keep the door shut. This one obviously isn't doing its job. Alright, got our mailbox sketched in. Now we will have a little flag that comes up, but we're not going to sketch that in right now because it's going to get lost when we paint the mailbox in anyway. So we won't worry about that right now. Put my charcoal away for now. Now we're going to worry about blocking that in. For that, you can use your large one and a half, two inch flat brush if you want to, or you can use a smaller flat brush, just whatever you're comfortable with. Now for our mailbox, it's an old mailbox. So we're going to want just kind of an old rusty brown color. It's been sitting out for a while. Again, old plate. <laughs> All right. Ooh, paint booger. I'm put a little black in here. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then off to the side, I'm going to put a little bit of white. Now it's entirely up to you if you want to use the black, how dark you want it to be. We're not going to use a lot of the black, I'm just, just going to darken it a little bit. I got way more black than I'm ever going to use there. Alright, I'm just going to start locking in the mailbox. take this all the way around the outside edge here. If 
We will be filling in the opening of the mailbox with a darker color, but Now, if you're filling in this mailbox and you're looking at it and you think, man, it's a little small, I'd like it to be a little bit bigger, just go ahead and bring out the edges a bit. You know, bring down the bottom a little further, bring this up a little higher, you know, just keep working with it until you have it the way you want it. Oops. Nice thing about paint. It's changeable. And now let's not forget our little lid here. Right up to the corner there. Now, if you would rather do that por that portion of it with a detail brush, that's fine. I'm just, I'm used to using this flat brush, so that's just what I, just what I'm using. All right, and one thing I am going to do, I'm going to dip into the white now. I'm going to come across the top here. I'm just going to start putting in just some little highlights. These are not going to be the finished highlights. This is just kind of a, a base for us to work on later. Just working with this while the paint's still wet and will blend. We will go through this later with a coarse bristle brush, like a chip brush or hog hair brush, and we'll add some We'll dry brush in some highlights. It just kind of helps to give it that aged look. I don't want to forget the outer edge here. Alright, now we want to fill in our post. This paint is all dry right here, so I don't have to worry about ending up with a green post. You can keep the same brush if you want to, or you can move to your larger flat brush. It's going to be a very similar color. Just the dark brown here to start out with. And then we're going to add some white and we're going to gray it and make it look like an old gray post. But first we've got to get this dark color in. Bring that all the way down to the bottom. And make sure it's nice and dark right at the base of the mailbox here. Because that post right there is going to be in shadow. 
So that mailbox is blocking it from the sun. We want to make sure that's nice and dark right there. We also need to pay attention to which side, you know, where our sun is coming from, where our light source is in this painting. I'm going to say our light source is coming from this way, so this is going to be the dark side of the post. Our Darth Vader side of the post. Our Sith side. Now you don't have to go all the way out to the edge of the charcoal that you put in. If you change your mind, you don't want it as thick as you had it. You can just wait for the painting to dry and then wipe that charcoal off. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of black to this side just to darken the base here. Alright, I'm going to brush some of that excess paint off of my brush. I'm going to go straight into white here. I'm going to start down the light side. Go down the Jedi side. And we'll just start brushing in and mixing some of that white. Now we're not over mixing it, we're just adding some streaks in here. This is another one of those areas that we're going to hit with the, the stiff bristled brush later on and really bring out some of that wood grain. But for now we're just giving ourselves a base to work with. I'm just using a real light touch here. just a little bit more over here. The more contrast you have between light and dark in your painting, the more striking it will be, especially at a distance. Okay. Now we can go in and fill in that dark... Oh, I just stuck my finger in paint. Fill in that dark opening for the mailbox. If you decide that you want to put, I'm just doing a dark brown in here, really, really, it's not straight black, it's just mostly black. If you decide that you want to put like a little letter or something sticking out of this, that would be really neat. You could do that. I'm not going to, but you can. I have a fun idea. If you feel more comfortable with a detail brush along the edges here, by all means, grab a detail brush. There we go. And I am going to add just a touch of white right here, just to lighten that outside edge a little bit because if you think about the light shining in right here, you'd probably be able to see a little bit of that inside ledge 
of the mailbox. A little bit lighter than the depths of it. So there we go with the mailbox all blocked in. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. I lied. Got to put our little tabs in there. Just a dark brown. Maybe a little bit less dark. Grab the detail brush and put some dark paint on it. There. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new classes.